Hey now YouTube, Joey brings it back again. Callie, coming at you from the West Coast, the best coast. Another beautiful day, guys. A beautiful day to be alive. Back at it from the home office. I hope this video finds you well. Gonna talk some cards the way I like to do here on my channel. Going through my collection, guys. Man, it's been a blast. Picking up cards, holding them, viewing them, separating them. Cards that I haven't seen in forever. All my fellow YouTube brothers, the true collectors, you guys know what it's like to look through a box you haven't looked through in a year or so and just find cards. Oh man, they just bring back memories. Find cards that you, you know, think, why did I buy this card? What in the heck am I going to do with it now? That's where I'm at, guys. You guys have been following me lately. You guys know that. Ah, let me grab a seat here. That I'm selling the collection, guys. Not the whole collection. A card here, a card there. But what I'm doing, man, it's been so much fun, is I'm documenting the journey. So the way I like to say here on my channel, guys, it's Joey Brings It. We're talking cards. West Coast Cali, here we go. What did I sell this week, guys? Let me see. Got a stack of cards right here, ready to show. I saw this card. Let me get the light out of the way here. Coming at you from the home office. Sometimes the lighting's not the best. I sold some art cards. You guys saw that I showed these the other day. Edward Vela art cards. Limited edition. These are the ones that he took out, I think, in 2013, maybe 2014. Super limited editions. This is the Mick. Great pose. This one was numbered 13 out of 25. Hand signed by the artist. Right now that art cards are, you know, coming in vogue. I don't understand it. I understand collecting them. I just don't understand the pricing. Well, speaking of pricing, let's see what these ones went for. <sighs> Limited edition art card, Mickey Mantle. Purchase December 2013 for $9.99. I just sold it for $39.99 plus shipping on top. $30 profit. Unreal, man. Return on investment, 400%, man. Um... Would this have garnered that on its own in a regular era? Or is it getting a push from all these new tops art cards that are out there? What are they called? Tops 2020 edition or something like that? I don't know. I, I think it's just, I, maybe I just got the right collector that loves art cards. We'll never know, but it's super happy to to make a good little profit on this one. Not bad. Beautiful card. And I sold a group to the same guy. So sometimes you get a little bit lucky. Here we go. Okay, so that one's out of there. Which other one did I sell, guys? Oh, yeah, the Charlie Hustle. We're talking Edward Vela art cards. Gorgeous, man. Another limited edition, numbered five out of nine. Gorgeous. Look at that action shot of Pete Rose. I remember being a kid. We'd be playing pickle. We'd just be playing baseball on the grass. Anywhere we could find an open space. Anytime you went head first into home, into third, wherever, head first, even if we weren't playing baseball, we did, it was called a Pete Rose. You know, we're playing tag and you're trying to get to home base. You just slide. Oh, he did a Pete Rose back in the day, man. Let's see how we did on the numbers on that Charlie Hustle. Number five out of nine. I purchased this. I think I purchased all these the same December 2013 for $9.99. It just sold it for $24.99 plus shipping on top a $15 profit. Not too shabby. 150% return on investment. Unreal. So I got those two cards. 
What else did this cool buyer get for his PC? From my PC to his PC, as long as they're going to a good home, man. Oh yeah, check this one out, guys. Woo! The greatest, Johnny Bench. What is up to Michael Shane? How do you like that one? Edward Vela Art Card Limited Edition, nine out of nine. Woo! Gorgeous pose. How does someone draw that well, that precise? This looks like a photograph, but it's not. It's an illustration. Incredible, gorgeous looking card. I hate to see it go. Let's see what the numbers look like. Same thing bought in December 2013 for $9.99. And same thing sold it for $24.99. $15 profit. 150% return on investment. Um, you know, I collected these back in the day, but like I said, what I'm doing right now is I'm trimming the fat. I'm trying to get my collection into lean, mean, fighting machine condition. You know, right now, it's a seller's market, man. If the cards that I want to get are going up in price, I don't necessarily have the funds to keep purchasing cards, the ones that I like, the type of cards that I want for my PC. So I got to get some cash. Got to get some cash flow going. Right now is a good time to do that. So I decided I'm not going to have art cards in my PC. I didn't have very many, so it's easy for me to sell. Last one, what did I sell? Oh, very cool. Eddie Collins art card. Again, limited edition, five out of nine. This one was a little bit more small ball in comparison to the others, but it'll work. The buyer got a great, great deal, no doubt. Purchased in December 2013, $9.99. This one I sold for $12.99. I had this one, you know, listed lower. It's not as valuable as the other ones. Not as marketable, maybe. $3 profit. That'll work. $30. And I get that $12.99 cash flow rolling get something in my PC. So I had maybe, I have maybe a dozen of these art cards. And like I said, I got to trim down the collection. I'm not going to be having art cards in it anymore. So I got to get rid of these ones. Same thing with these cards that I just showed at the beginning of the video. Not that I want to get rid of them, but the budget is telling me I have to, you know, there's a couple other art cards in there. Great looking cards, man. Messi, La Pulga. For my gringo friends out there, the Pulga means the flea. That's his nickname. Pele, when he's on the Cosmos, New York Cosmos legend, the greatest of all time. Check out that one. That was a really good one. 1955 Golden Stamps. Tommy Lasorda in a near mint to mint eight. Got a T206 that I had a double of. Hans Lobert. I saw a lot of my friends showing uh, the gold border cards, the T205s, and I said, I've never held one in my hand. Let me get one up close. So I got this one right here, a New York Yankees, Harry Volter in a good two. Gorgeous, gorgeous looking card. But at the end of the day, it's just not in my budget to try to start that set. I got into the kick, you know, in the early 2010s, of collecting minis. Oh, I love these minis. Look at the great one, Wayne Gretzky in a gem in 10. The greatest of all time, Mia Hamm in a gem in 10. Again, keeping with the greatest of all time, John Wooden in a gem in 10. This was a really, really collectible card back in the day. I don't know today so much. Maybe if I get the right NASCAR or what do you call it? Just racing nascar um what do you call it collecting collector if i get that person to see this card he might you know you might like that one check out this one man captain america i got into buying a few relic cards but at the end of the day man it's just too much crap to be into no doubt what happened to my music here we go Check out this one, man. I just love collecting autographs. 
But then again, I can't collect everything, so I can't have Olympic autographs. It's just too much. Got the Bruce Jenner when he won the gold medal as a decathlon athlete. Check out this one. One of one. Only one graded. PSA Dwight Gooden. 87 tops coins. Check that out, man. Beautiful. It's a proof. Man, one of the most gorgeous athletes of all time. I think I just picked these ones up just for the picture, man. Woo! I love tennis, man. But then again, I can't collect everything. I can't collect all sports. Oh, this one's a great looking card. I hate to see this one go. We'll see if it sells. 1964 Wheaties, Raymond Berry, Hall of Famer. We'll see, man. So I'm, like I said, man, I'm trimming off what I call the fat of my collection. Things that I'm not focusing on. I really just don't have the budget, guys. And right now, like I said, it's a seller's market. So, got to do it. I hope you guys are, are enjoying this, man. I'm enjoying it. A lot of my friends are texting me. Hey, man, I love your video. Uh, you know, why are you selling that one? Um, you could have got more. You're selling that one. It's too expensive. My, what I'm doing right now is I'm listing these because, like I said, it's a seller's market, man. I'm listing a lot of them at a high price, to tell you the truth. No doubt. And we'll see what happens. I don't need, to, I'm not in a, in a situation where I need to sell them today. I think, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think I have that messy for like $99.99 right now. You know, if it doesn't sell in a month, I'll either take it down, I'll keep it, or I'll lower the price. We'll see. Right now, soccer's hot, man. I might find the one guy who just falls in love with that picture, that illustration. You never know, man. Take a chance. Great looking cards, guys. Whew, man. Over 10 minutes, the way I always do here on my channel, man. But I love my card so much. Nothing I can do. Always going to be 10 minutes plus. I hope you guys enjoyed. I got a bunch more of these to go. Watching some cool videos on the tube. Love it, man. Someone that I used to know. 80s style. Gorgeous. All right, guys. It's your YouTube brother, Joy Brings It. Signing off from Cali. Look at that Mia Ham. Jam Mint 10. I love it. Like I said, it's your brother, Joey Brings It. Wishing you the best, man. I hope you enjoyed. I have a lot of more of these videos coming up. I'm selling off the collection, guys. A card here, a card there. Everybody have a great one, okay? So we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Big love. It's Joey Brings It. Callie.